Morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Muscle and our good friend Kyle. We just finished up a donation. So we picked up this refrigerator, this table, another table, all those chairs, stools, credenzas. What are you thinking, Muscle? We gotta unload it. And Kyle is gonna rehome all of this. So what he can't use, he's got friends that can use. So all this came from a home in Anthem. 7.30 and we're already sweating. Today is humid. People say this is a dry heat. It's not always true. We're gonna take you with us today. We got some fridges and freezers and basketball hoops to pick up. Heavy stuff. Heavy stuff. That's what Mrs. Muscle's for. It'd be nice if you go to the other side and push. You told me to film. <laughs> go ahead and push. <laughs> Second, I was gonna say first fridge of the day, second fridge of the day. Oh yeah. We got more to do. Just arriving at our third job of the day. This customer found us on Facebook and it looks like she has about a half a load of cardboard. So we'll show you guys. All right, Mrs. Muscle. <laughs> hey now, let's get this all situated. We're thinking a half trailer. Oh, that's gonna lock me in here, isn't it? We got the fridge in the middle. Gotta make some space. So the game plan is to keep all the cardboard up here, have that be a solid half trailer. We got this fridge. Now we're picking up a chest freezer, basketball hoop, and a cabinet. And after that, a box spring. So, what do you think, muscle? Is it gonna fit? And a half? Yep, looks like it will. Si se puede. Back on the paved roads. Yeah. This thing smells like this. The best smell. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm seeing bugs on it too. Oh, we'll have to burn your clothes later. That's right. That's why we use our cheap gloves for jobs like this. We throw them away. <laughs> should include it in the car. So what we do? What were the last couple of jobs we had film? We got a chest freezer. Chest freezer. A basketball hoop base. Yep, full of sand. And a cabinet. And a cabinet, that's right. And now we're trying to fit one more thing. Jackie, in one the load. more thing. <laughs> What's after this? We're going to the metal yard. Yeah, metal we gotta yard. we gotta do some recycling. Hit the dump, unload this, get another fridge, and then a dumpster. Yes. We're gonna round out the afternoon like that. Seems to be a lot of fridges today. She is. That took about one minute. Ta -da. <laughs> the heater will be back on yeah, soon. Back. All right, we got most of the trailer recycled. So much cardboard and metal and fridges ready to dump. We just got those refrigerators recycled and all the cardboard recycled. This guy that works at um, a metal yard here in Deer Valley, the name of the metal yard is RZR. Just wonderful people that work there. Super approachable, really helpful help you unload stuff just awesome and it's here after closing and he's still there and gave us a hand so we got all that cardboard out and uh, now we're going to hit the dump and then we got another fridge to get so we we're just kind of joking around though because it's so cloudy and humid today we were joking that the uh you know who turned off the heater where'd the sun go it's it's on vacation but i think we're sweating a lot more today than normal I'm not sure what the temperature actually is, but we're coming into the season where you really got it. Oh, this says 102. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like, I don't know, the, the humidity makes it different, but the, uh, the season we're coming into, you have to drink salt tablets or salt powder or supplements to replace these electrolytes because you're, you're losing them. 
They end up on your shirt and your hat and your your clothes. You get these white lines all over the place. So we'll see what uh, what sweating Mrs. Muscle does. Get some white lines on that shirt. Can we just eat fries? <laughs> can we just eat fries? That sounds better. You can. It's our second time at the dump today. What'd you find over here, young lady? I'm waiting for you. Tapping your foot. Oh, it's a pretty one. I know. I always want to see what's inside. <laughs> Let's get it loaded up. Now we're back out in Rio Verde on dirt roads again. I think technically this is a Scottsdale address, but it feels like Rio Verde. Got another mile of this. Slow moving because the the road's washboard, meaning you know, there's all these bumps, and it makes your tires kind of rumble. Going to drop off a dumpster. I just left Home Depot a few minutes ago. I'm renting a Penske truck for next week because this work truck, this work horse, is getting some work done. We're uh, putting a new transmission into it, a built up better one, so that it can be more reliable and not leak any transmission fluid, which is important. But with all the towing we do, it just makes sense to have it built up a little bigger so that it can stay cooler function more efficiently yada 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 we're also getting airbags put into the truck this truck does not have airbags and with as much towing as we do and now hauling this gooseneck around it should make good sense to have airbags on the truck keep the ride height a little bit more consistent and not have the trailer nosedive the next thing we're having done next week <laughs> it's all at the same time when it rains it pours we are having the tarp system on this dumpster trailer raised up about 18 inches. So they're gonna fabricate more or less a shelf for it to sit on, rerun the wire, paint it, make it look nice, and then we'll test it so that it covers the dumpster correctly. So that is the plan. And I'll give you updates next week on how it goes. I'm hoping for a smooth process which each, each of those mechanical projects but there's always something it's just constant we appreciate you enjoying the day with us we hope you learned something i know we learned a few things dropping that dumpster off it was a compound angle and so the dumpster was trying to slide off the rails to the side and so there's just constantly stuff we're learning lessons mechanical stuff um logistics getting more efficient so we're gonna to try to share more and more of our journey as we continue to grow and, and fail forward. Y'all have a good night.